Welcome back. Let's look at making a forecast using a technique called exponential smoothing. Uh, we're still dealing with the same demand uh, data that we had from our earlier example from problem 1841. And for exponential smoothing, our, our forecast for the, the next time period is equal to the forecast from the, the current time period plus alpha, a smoothing constant times the, the era, the actual minus forecast. Now to start all this off, we need some initial forecast for time period one. And often what we do is just set that first forecast equal to the first actual. Okay, so now we can do our forecast for time period two. And so it's equal to the forecast for time period one plus the smoothing constant alpha. In this case, we're going to use the value 0.2 multiplied times the difference between that uh, prior period, the, the period we're sitting in right now, actual minus forecast. Now when we look at this, we can see that making that next period forecast is based on what's happening in the, the prior period and alpha and as we move from time period to time period we're always going to be looking back uh, to that prior time period. Uh, the only thing that will, will stay the same is this value for alpha and so let's fix that as always being the point 2 referencing the cell E4 and then we can copy uh, this down the page including for time period 11 and for making a forecast and so these are the exponential smoothing forecast uh, based on a smoothing constant of 0.2. Now we can go ahead and, uh, and calculate the, the error, the MSE, for the exponential smoothing. Uh, we've uh, looked at MSE before. The, uh, the first step is finding the error. Now we won't find the, uh, the error for this first a period because we just assigned that value. And so we'll start with the second period. And of course we need both an actual and a forecast, which we have. And so it's equal to the actual minus the forecast. And then we can copy this down through time period 10. So we have both the actual and forecast. And then we're going to take that error and square it. So equals the error, the caret above the 6, to square it, copy that down, and then uh, again this is MSE, so mean squared error, so equals average, and highlight this range. And so we can uh, see comparing the moving average, a uh, three period moving average, with exponential smoothing we had a, a smaller MSC for the moving average forecast. Uh, that's it, uh, exponential smoothing and then the uh, forecast error for that exponential smoothing forecast. Thanks, see you next time.